hi this is shomdeep chakravarti and today i'm going to show you how to create a ftp server on cisco packet tracer okay <coughs> we all know that what is ftp that fi uh, that is file transfer protocol okay so we can upload and download files from the internet so to start with we need obviously we need one server let's take a router and a switch and let's say we are taking here two pieces okay so now let's connect this okay <coughs> so this is our basic design to create a ftp server okay so now um, the first thing first we need to set the ips over here so let's get into the router quickly enable it we need to go into config mode now uh, first of all i i am going to set the ip for this port gig0 by 1 okay and let's say the ip will be 192.168.1.1 and we need to put the subnet mask after that and let's activate the port with no shut command okay now we need to set another ip for this gig0/0 port so let's get into that port and let's say the ip we are going to set here will be 10.0.0.1 because there is a class a ip address that's why the subnet is 255.0.0.0 and no shut command to activate okay so the ips are set in the router now we need to set the ip in the computers and the server so let's get over there quickly <coughs> 192.168.1.2 and the gateway will be the 1.1 the ip address which is set in this gig0 by 1 port and 192.168.1.3 let's say and 192.168.1.1 okay so the ips are set in routers and computers now let's get to the server the same way the ip will be 10.0.0.1 is said already set there so it will be like this 10.0.0.1 will be the gateway because this is the ip of G zero by zero port. Okay. <coughs> so now IPs are set. Let's see how to create the FTP server. Let me create a file first in my computer. Uh, suppose this is like hello. This is the test file. Okay. So now I am going to save this file in this computer named hello dot txt suppose. Okay. Now let's get to the server. Go into the services, and here you can see all the services which are running on the server. So we need the FTP server. So the, here is the FTP. <coughs> so now you can see that already. a username and password is set and the permission is rwdnl that means read write and download okay so we can read and write and we can download the file the permission is like that so, but uh, also you can set your own id password like uh, <coughs> let's put the username and password suppose 1 2 3 4 and let's add okay i need to add the permissions 
yes obviously you can delete rename okay add okay so I have set a username and password for the FTP service so now what I'm going to do I need to upload the file I have created uh, the hello.txt into the server first okay so to do that first thing the server let's see the if the connection is okay or not <coughs> okay okay so the connection is good so now we need to use put command put and uh, <coughs> we need to enter the name of the file so with this command put hello.txt we uh, will upload the file from my computer to the server uh, okay one second uh, sorry for that we need to first start the FTP actually so FTP 10.0.02 so we need to access the FTP on that server so it, it is asking for the username so I am going to put the username which I have set and the password will be 1234 so now I have logged into a HTTP server <coughs> and now I am going to upload the file into that server ok so it says that writing file hello.txt file transfer in progress and transfer is complete ok 32 bytes copied in 0 0.011 seconds ok so now now let's see <coughs> if the uh, file is there or not so this is the directory command and we can see that hello.txt 32 bytes already uploaded so now let's go to the another computer and uh, here I want to download that particular file so let's go to command prompt go to ftp 10.0.0.2 so I need to put the username then the password so let's see ok so hell.txt is there so to download that file from the FTP server we need the get command and the file name ok so reading the file file transfer in progress transfer is complete ok so that means we have already downloaded the file so this is how you can set a simple FTP server in packet tracer and uh, you can upload you can also delete if you want you can also <coughs> change the file uh, content and then upload it again that's upon you okay that's for all thank you